Okay, so we're getting ready to go. Cars packed, Miles is in. Hi. There's Coolbox and there's Lacey. You gonna smile and wave, Lacey? The boot's full. And we're just gonna lock the house. Oh my god! What? I'm dropping It's waterproof, man. It's not, it's time flickering. It's waterproof. Can you help me then while you. I'm recording all this. Can you just do as you're told? This is the kind of stuff that I've got to deal with. <sighs> you got to ask yourself, why did she drop her phone down the toilet? It's not a good place to put it. Why would you put why would you put it down the toilet? <laughs> I had your phone and my phone in my pocket. I took your phone out, but as I took your phone out, it slid out. Try your case before you put it in the case. And it all came out. <laughs> and then I went reached down quickly, but only pulled me from my case off because it fell out my case and my phone was still in the toilet. Did you scrape it against the skid marks on the side? Probably. <laughs> So, did you not drop my phone down the no. toilet? Because mine isn't waterproof. I didn't and I wish I did now. Have you got the tablet? Yeah, it's in the front. <clears throat> um. Right, so it's 11.55, we're late as normal. Um, it said this morning, five hours, 13 minutes to get to Dover. So we'll go and see what it says now. Are you locking them? Yeah, you lock them. I'm gonna go and get set up. Right. Lacey, just hold that. Tablet. Right, there's a couple of things that we need to do. So, the first campsite has messaged me and asked us what time we're going to get there. So, I'll show you the text in a minute. You've got your headphones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can have them little ones. Right, pass that. Stop. Stop. So it's saying five hours, ten minutes, three hundred and six miles. So we'll um, see how that goes. It says we're going to get there. It's six minutes past five. We've got a full tank of fuel. So we should be all right. All right, which keys? Oh, that was cold. All right. Did you lock both the inner door as well? No. no. Any reason? No. I just locked both locks on the outer door. Bye, house. Is that even on, like, me? Yeah. How do you know? Because I set it up on my phone, so if she... Click on my phone, you can see what's recording. <clears throat> Definitely got the passports, yeah? Yeah. All the passports and all the documents that I've printed. So I was saying there's a couple of things that we need to do. 
Yeah. We also need to um, change the registration number for P&O and set up the mobile app for the um, credit card. Yeah. Is it connected? Um, I don't know. Click. No, why are you clicking on the cloud? It's um, obviously not in the cloud. The fact you've got no ears under your hair. With no nose, you would look like the biggest freak on the planet. 
No, but like, I'm not saying like no news, I mean like no, don't you, kind of... That's what he said. Oh, well, no yeah. news. No news or no news. No news because it means I don't have to smell bad smells. can see there we left 11.55 and I think we had a first stop here just after Oxford toilet stopped 10 minutes um, and then another two hours and then we stopped about 20 miles short of Dover and went to a Sainsbury's for some food and probably another toilet stop and then the last 27 miles took an hour and a half um, <laughs> just sheer weight of traffic um, got to Dover and it took us an hour and 20 minutes to get through the queues at the port and then queuing for the ferry I think we did another half a mile another 23 minutes and then literally we had to sit and wait for two hours 10 minutes they were just rammed um, absolutely chocker so eventually we got on the ferry at f five past eleven basically 12 hours of, of traveling on the first day so we bought um, a fridge for the car, it's like a cool box but it's an electric one and it did really well, kept everything really cool the whole time we were going. Originally we booked the ferry for Victoria's car because um, it's obviously a lot bigger uh, but we did that because we thought one of my other daughters was going to go but she didn't go, she's 14, didn't want to sit in the car with us for two weeks. Um, don't blame her. Uh, now, she, I mean, she should have gone, but anyway. Um, 
but P and O likes to swap the swap the car and swap the reg. And we took my car because it's a work car, and they insured it for Europe, and it was covered for European breakdown. So we just didn't have anything to do. And apart from that, you know, if I'm going to do three thousand miles, I might as well put it on the work car rather than our car. So yeah. Anyway, that's it. Stop for some belongery. No. No, I'm hungry. Wow. In 200 meters at the roundabout, continue straight onto Rue de Verdun, D25. This was day two, um, and because I'm a tight ass, I decided to save the 60 odd euros that it was going to cost to take the toll road all the way to um, the Dordogne. And I'm really pleased we did because the drive was lovely. It, we were travelling overnight, so it was pretty fast anyway. Um, so this is. This is the day we did 565 miles. Um, and it took nine hours 25 minutes. So we landed in France at two, three minutes past two local time, um, and we stopped at the place that you've just seen. Um, can't pronounce it, but let's say Crossin. Crossin. Honestly, it was lovely. Um, You'll, you'll see in the video in a minute the um, uh, where are we I'll show you the pictures instead so I mean we saw this castle we drove to it and had a quick look it was shut like but even so um, just just a beautiful beautiful little village and um, we were so grateful that they'd put some facilities there so there was a park for the kids and a really clean toilet that that, that we desperately needed um, and um, yeah great place to stop um, but yeah the you know this was the biggest drive that we'd done and I mean this is carrying on from no sleep from the day before so you can imagine by the time we got there I was pretty knackered um, so we had that one stop here um, and then another stop at a McDonald's and then um, what time did we get there? 10 o'clock in the morning at McDonald's for breakfast and then another 142 miles and um, we got to Sala in the Dordogne at just gone one o'clock, which actually isn't bad going at all. Um, and then the annoying thing was we had to sit there and wait for two hours because they don't have the accommodation at Eurocamp ready for you until three o'clock. But um, we made it and I wasn't driving and that was the main thing. Hmm?
in the car. So, what time is it? About half six. No, it's not half eight. There's no way. Is it really? So we found a nice little place to stop. What's it? To stretch our legs. We're about five hours out of the ace into the drive. Go and try and do it yourself. Come, just take the zip wire up to the other end. And climb up. What? Climb up. <laughs> Did you really think it was going to stay there while you wait what, and wait for you? Climb up and hold on to it while you climb up.
<laughs> Richard. <laughs> so this is our Euro camper, our first stop in France. You okay, Richard? So it's called the Black Rock. That's my Sunday. Is that yours? Yeah. Right. Got plenty of chairs. Yeah. A place to dry. You got your bin. And cupboards. It's pretty cool. Mm. Kitchen. Microwave. Fridge. And your bathroom. So you got sinks. Shower. This is Miles and Lacey's room. Like, the bunk on top. Also, there's a little area on my, on my top of bed, look. Oh, yeah. It's up there. <laughs> <laughs> a little room I there. I can say night night to Lacey. Night night, Lacey. A big, big sofa, a high chair for Lucy. On mine and Richard's room. We've got double bed, little kind of dressing table, wardrobe. Perfect little size. And this is a two bedroom, one bathroom. I've got lines on my face. No. Oh, you look good. Mm -hmm. There's a trekking like so far away. Is that alright, Danny? When the Grab onto the side if you're coming around here. Yeah. Oh. 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 Miles, you know why you're actually not for support? Oh. She's a bit cold. Oh, 
<laughs> One foot, Lacey. <laughs> You need to push up with your legs. Push up. Not yet. Wait, wait. I'll tell you when. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees like this. Lacey, bend your legs. Bend your knees. 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 Bend Steady. Steady. Okay. Okay, Miles, move over this way. I'll video you jumping in and then. I'm going to hold it. Okay. Video you open. That's what she does it swimming. Take miles on the slide. Do I go on the slide? Yeah. Come on then. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take them off. Don't come over and have a look. Get in the pool with us. No, I'm going to walk around. <laughs> <laughs> Wait one second. Miles. Um it should be fine. Yeah. Alright, go on then. Put your goggles on. It just goes down like that. There's two there that just go down, and then there's but there's a lot of water at the end. Bye. Right, go on, go on that one. Bye. Do on this, do on this. Oh, yeah, you just got down. Yeah.
was recording, but he wasn't pointing it at anything. Because he was uh, trying to put his goggles on. Are you going to take on one? No. What? You do it. It's too cold for me. <laughs> 